In these next problems, we're talking about trigonometry and the basic trigonometric ratios of sine, cosine, and tangent. And this is some really useful stuff. You've been doing some work with right triangles, and what these trigonometric ratios show us is that the angles in these triangles are related to the sides. And you can figure out an angle if you have certain sides, and you can figure out certain sides if you have certain angles. So it's pretty cool stuff. But before we get started on learning how to do these ratios, the sine, cosine, and tangent, we need to familiarize ourselves with the parts of a triangle. So here's a typical right triangle. And you should know by this point where the hypotenuse of a right triangle is. The hypotenuse is opposite the right angle. So this is the hypotenuse. Now there are two other sides that we'll give names to depending on our perspective in the triangle. Let's say our perspective was over here at angle A. This is the hypotenuse and it's always going to stay the hypotenuse. But the other two sides we would call the adjacent and the opposite. And it's pretty clear why the opposite is the opposite, right? Because it's opposite of angle A. Whereas the adjacent is right next to A, and that's what adjacent means. It means next to. So you've got the hypotenuse, the adjacent, and the opposite sides. Of course, if you're over here at angle B, this one right here would be your adjacent side, and this one right here would be the opposite. So it depends on the perspective. So that's the first tricky part you have to figure out. The second is how to do the ratios. So for example, the sine of, let's say, angle A here. Well, the sine is a ratio of the opposite over the hypotenuse. So it would be the length of this side right here, the opposite, over the length of the hypotenuse. The cosine is the ratio of the adjacent side over the hypotenuse, and the tangent is the opposite side over the adjacent side. There's a, a handy way to remember these that uh, your math teacher might teach you. It's so ka toa. Soka toa. If you say that a few times to yourself, it, it might help um, uh, have this stick in your head. So ka toa. Let's just do one here before we go on to our actual problems. Here's a, here's a tr right triangle, a, a nice one. I like these three, four, five triangles. Let's say we wanted to find the sine of angle A. Well, the sine is the opposite over the hypotenuse. So I'm going to make my, my fraction here for the ratio. Well, the, the hypotenuse is this side right here. It's opposite the uh, right angle. So that's going to go on the bottom, opposite over hypotenuse. Well, what's the opposite side to A? Well, that would be the one straight across from A. That's 3. So the sine of A is 3 fifths. And in terms of setting up these ratios, that's really all there is to it. Let's look at a couple of problems. This one says find sine B for the right triangle below, and that is almost the same problem we did except we're looking at B. So remember the sine is so in that so ka toa, so it's opposite over hypotenuse. Well, the hypotenuse is 5, so that goes on the bottom of my fraction. And then I want the opposite of B, well the opposite of B is 4, so the sine of B in this triangle is four-fifths. Let's look at the next one. This one says use the diagram to find sine x as a fraction in simplest form. So here's our angle x right here. Well sine, it's the so and so katoa, so it's opposite over hypotenuse. Well opposite x is 15, and the hypotenuse of this triangle is opposite the 90 degree angle, that's 39. So that's 15 39ths, but they said in simplest form, so let's see, can we take anything out of here? I think we can take a 3 out of the top and the bottom, and that would give us 5 thirteenths, and that looks like we can't reduce it any further. So sine of x is 5 thirteenths. All right, last one here. This one says find the cosine of a for the right triangle below. Well, here's a, but cosine, 
That's the ka in so ka toa. So it's going to be adjacent over hypotenuse. Well, hypotenuse is easy. It's the one opposite the right angle. So that's 41. That'll go on the bottom of our fraction. But what's the adjacent uh, side to A? Well, you'll see A here is next to the hypotenuse, but that's not it, because that's the hypotenuse. It's also next to this side right here, and that's 40. So the cosine of A is 40 41. And that's the sine and cosine ratio.